guys, welcome to today's video. Today I have lost the daisy dog. We lost her. And it's impossible to see a white dog in a white landscape. Where is she? Oh my gosh. Ugh. Frustrating. And I found her. Good morning guys, welcome to today. Today Sam is back at work. Sad. It's a sad day, it won't be long. It won't be for long though, because COVID is ramping up here, but they don't care as much. Like, you hardly even have to get tested now. Like they have, like, I don't know, there's all these rules. Like, hi Petty Pickle, hi Petty Pickle. Oh man, I love my horse. It's amazing how you love your horse. It's amazing how even if like your horse or your child or your your husband or whatever it's amazing how even if they're like nothing special to anybody else they can be the best thing that ever happened to you like love is crazy love is blind love is amazing and I love it <laughs> So good morning to today. Go out there and find your mini miracle. And when you do, come back and tell it to me because people send me mini miracles all the time. A friend that opened her cat food yesterday, opened her soft cat food container, and right in the center of the cat food was this beautiful, most glorious heart ever. Hopefully she doesn't mind me sharing it with you, but things like that always motivate me and remind me to be kinder and to be nicer. And I just love seeing that stuff. So send me your hearts, people. Send me your signs from God, somebody else. So many people send me their signs from God and it always motivates me and inspires me and makes me happy. Today is the first day of back to school for us here in Ontario and we are gonna do school and then we also have other things that we have to do today. It's exciting things, fun things. Today I'm working smarter, not harder. And I woke the girls up and took their phones. I went in their rooms and just took their phones and I see me. But if you're a parent like me, you may have noticed that it takes your kids 10 times as long to get ready for the day when they have their phones with them. Yeah, that's a true story, you guys. Are you guys ready? You ready to roll? Look at this, Penny has a jelly ball in her stall. We brought that from the other barn and Chino and the boys are outside now and I was going to hang it outside for Chino because he likes to play with stuff and Sam put it here for Penny. I don't know if she uses it. I think we should put it in the arena. <sighs> the girls should be down any second. Oh my gosh, I lost the Dalmatian again. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why there's a problem with the Dalmatian. Because she only wants to be with her owner. Oh. What are you barking at? What did you see? What did you see? She was all the way up in the house. I know, this is what happens. If Just I'm chilling out the front yard, and I came out, and I'm like, oh look, there's a little spotted animal. Yeah, so it's because. And then she ran, and she stopped, and she ran, and she stopped and waited for me. Yeah. You're we all know. wet. We know, we know that you only have eyes for your mama. She's like, thank you for coming and rescuing me. Rescuing me. I was alone in the barn with everybody else. <laughs> All right, go for it. Okay. Uh oh, I did it wrong. Go. Close that. Everybody in. Oh. Oh, everybody in. Da oh don't you push it open. All right, the mini first, right? Now. Oh, her. Uh -huh. Oh. Go. Why would we put the like least? Because Willow will push her out. Yeah. And then. Yeah, there we go. Uh, get out, get out. <laughs> go, go. <laughs> yeah, Patty Pickle. Whoa. Trip. And then poor Gracie waits her turn. Gracie is the best dog. She's literally the best dog. No, she's not a dog. If you, if you bring Gracie her, is the best pony. If you bring her in the house, she'll sit on your lap. Yeah, Gracie would do anything to be with us, just to like hang out and do stuff. Like she is the best ever. 
horse. Willow's, Willow's rolling. Yeah. All right, let's get these chores done. Gabby still hasn't arrived, but Sophie arrived in record time. I don't know if you guys can see, but way out there across the road, they were in our driveway yesterday, but the city workers are out there trimming the trees. I am the Lurex. I speak for the trees. The trees say they are right. Yeah, Sophie's like, you don't not know how bad I want to tell them. Oh my goodness. This is what happens in our house 25,000 times a day. A toy, anything. I know, but any toy that they can get a hit hold of, they wrestle for it. Daisy's stronger, but Molly has more mental strength, so Daisy gives in. All right, so Sophie just told me she has three, if she had three wishes, what would you wish for? Um, I would wish for my dog not to be deaf, all the money in the world, and for homeless people and poor people not to be homeless or poor anymore. And so that brings me to the question of this. If you were deaf, if you are deaf, would you wish not to be deaf? If you couldn't see, would you wish to be able to see? And that's what I think the problem with the world is that we project our own feelings onto other people. Sometimes people who are deaf or hard of hearing or have some other cognitive disability, they... I am the Lurex. They, cut down the trees. they are happy and learning in a different way and have a different way of life. And because we don't have that same way of life, we pressure them and make them feel as though they are less. And in fact, in many ways, they are more because when God takes something away, he gives something else back. And often people with issues or disabilities or things that make them different from us, they also get something amazing that makes them incredibly different from us. And I don't know, I think I'm at a place in my life where I feel like everybody has a right to thrive in their own skin. Everybody has a right to be who they are, deaf, blind, whatever it is, and feel happiness and, and, and think of themselves as being amazing because we all are amazing living our own journey. There's no comparison in this world, no comparison. And I love Daisy, deaf or not deaf, she's incredible. So I don't want Daisy to feel as though because she's deaf, she's less than, because she's not, she's amazing. This is how smart my horse is. She goes behind the barn where there's no wind and she takes her mini with her and then Gracie gets all the rest of the hay. Oh no, the mini's there too. <laughs> So we just got back from the barn and there's a package and we love packages. I know what this one is. I'm letting Gabby open it because she might like it. Sam ordered this for us as a family for Christmas. Sophie won't like it though. Gabby's very precise with Sophie's knife. I forgot to get you a knife like that for Christmas. Yeah, you forgot. I did. Gabby likes to have a good barn knife. Farm knife. Oh, it's a coffee thing. How does reading the receipt make the surprise better? I don't like surprises. So it's not better. So what is it? It's Java coffee thing. Is it Jovi? Javi. Javi? Javi? Javi. Let's see. So he got a whole box of this Javi stuff. So when he ordered it, he it kept saying next, 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 and he just kept pe pressing Caramel. next. Caramel. Yeah. Caramel Javi Coffee Concentrate. So, coffee. yeah. What kind They're is that? Different flavors. That They're was coffee, coffee. Fruit. that's just plain coffee. So he ended up accidentally buying so many of these things. He didn't only wanted one. Mocha! This Mocha, yeah. Mine. So caramel is for me, Mocha is for Gabby, and coffee is for Sam. And is there one of... Uh, no coffee? <laughs> is there one that's Tea called um, no coffee coffee? No. But there's three for Coffee. each of us. Yeah, there's three for each of us. So comment below if you've seen the whole Javi concentrate train. It's going crazy on social media I right now. I got more. No, there's three of each. Coffee. Three. Three. Five. Oh. Dad. Oh. Dad, you little rat. <laughs> Dad, I'm grateful for my three. <laughs> so, some, so somehow we got 13 bottles of Javi Concentrate. Yeah, 13 bottles, three caramel, three chocolate, and the rest coffee wrap. flavor. Yeah, so we've got bubble wrap. Here, put mine in there. So it smells like popcorn. I, I hope it doesn't smell like popcorn. Oh, it's popcorn. We don't know how to smell it. Oh, 
It smells like caramel popcorn. All right. It smells like the jelly bean popcorn. All right, so I have milk in here and a little bit of cream because I don't know if I'm supposed to like use a whole thing of cream to make a drink. Hurry up before okay, I go drop ahead. this bottle. Go ahead, put it in there. Why are you using your left hand? We're right-handed people. Just put one. This so is a uh, half-handed. Mom, this is half, so I have to put two. Oh, to make okay, it yeah. Okay, stop mixing. You make my hand even more shaky than it already is. And then I think you have to put You're sugar. You're gonna want to add two. You gotta right. oh, why don't we add machine? some? So this is it. This okay, I'm not gonna lie. I tried it. It's absolutely unbelievable. Like I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. No, it's so good. It's because I made it. It's caramel. It tastes like jelly beans. It's sweet and yummy. It's like an ice cap. It's so good. There you go. I you put whipped cream. Looks better, but it's it's literally good. like an ice cap. It's literally like an ice cap. But you can control how much sugar you put in it. So we got a wishbone. We so had it from well, Christmas. I'm going to lose again because she always picks the better side. No, we're going to do it a special way. Okay, so, just wait. We're going to no, do it. Just, just wait. This is my tip. So you're obviously going to choose the longer side because it's longer. You'd obviously choose this side. But I'm gonna choose this side today because the smaller side's always better. Oh, I'm right. Three. Oh, I know I'm gonna lose. Make a wish. Make a wish. Make a wish. A family wish. All right. Yeah. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 pinkies. Pinkies. Pinkies up. All right, I made my wish. Hang on. Okay. <laughs> what? You got grip my pinkies. I heard so gotta grope my. <laughs> Go. Oh. <laughs> Just rip that sucker. Yeah. It's, it's sharp. Ow, 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 ow. My hand? Give me it. <laughs> Go. My hand. Sophia win or I win? I win. Wait, 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 wait. I said give me. That's pretty much equal. I win. <laughs> Sophie barely wins. It's like literally I win. equal. You both win. There are all these new changes and stuff to our riding program to keep everyone safe. They have to have really small groups. They have to have Hello. all this time between riders to clean and disinfect. And there's just like a bunch of new rules to try and keep everybody safe because COVID's so bad right now. So we're headed to the barn for our lesson. We have to be on time because um, we have to like, make sure that there are not too many people in the barn at a time it's just one group at a time of people so we're waiting for gabby we're late we're trying to rush and get out the door whenever you rush it's the worst because we have then, to be there at 12. yeah we have to be riding at 12 and it's already 11:09, and it's yeah a bit of a drive so yeah good luck to us i was worried about you what oh chino settle down there's other horses there what? I walk under the barn that he's been in a thousand times. Spooks at everything. <laughs> I'm lunging. Okay. Right. We are here with masks on. Oh, and Finny. Finally back in lessons, you guys. It was a rough two weeks. Rough two weeks. Like, I'm not a good coach. I was like, Sophie! <laughs> stop that! Sophie, stop that! <laughs> it's terrible. All right, Grayson. I love how the blanket straps are holding on. He stretched out the middle on the stomach one so much, it is still holding on. Oh, that's awesome. All right, keep going. Let's go fast, fast, fast. You're playing your cards with your queen of hearts When everyone folds your forge to holds your place in your bed showing no regret close your eyes to hide your lies roll the dice you got me tiptoeing around you like you made a glass got an invincible fence letting everyone know not to trespass but you're bound to break down bound to lose bound to get knocked right out of your boots when i use my Talking rude. You're playing a game, driving me insane. Your heart is back, and it's a fact, no turning back. You 
got me tiptoeing around you like you made a glass. Got an invincible fence, letting everyone know not to trespass. But you're bound to break down, bound to lose, bound to get knocked right out of your boots when I use my That's a big change in Gabby. Gabby's never wanted to lend a horse in her entire life. Like, she is trying to do good by him, and I love that. Finally, this boy's having a lesson. Will I ride? No, you have to leave it on, apparently. Will I ride? So this is me. Can't see anything with the mask on. All right, we're done lessons, and it was a big lesson. It was a big lesson because Brandon really helped me understand things in a way that I'm gonna be able to explain them to you. She looks tired now, huh? Yeah. yeah. All right, hold on. Come on. Oh. Get the gate now, Mom. Okay. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. Oh, this is the first time we didn't take Chino. <laughs> it's the same fin. It's the same boy. Yeah, we're gonna take you the next time we come. We got a plan for you, Chino Bambino. It's okay. It's okay. Your friend is back. Look okay. Look at shelter. Oh. You're such a baby. You're such a baby. All right. We'll see you guys after. We love you. We miss you. Chino's like, I will go with you. Chino thinks it's his turn now. He's like trying to get right out the door. You can't come. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's not your turn. Make sure it goes over. All right. Whoa, he is hungry for treats. You will give some to Finn. Here. You brought some little carrots. It's okay. Yeah. It's your turn next. Your turn next. Okay, so I'm going to explain what Brandon told us in lessons today. Because I'm trying to ex figure out, like, I know a lot of you guys have a hard time watching Sophie ride Finn because she's learning and it's difficult. Sometimes when I watch other people ride Storm, I have to look away because I have to remember that they're learning and they're trying to figure it out. Horses are resilient and understanding and lesson horses and horses that belong to kids learning are extra resilient and amazing for all the stuff that they go through in the sake of teaching and Finn included. So, how Brandon explained it to me is that Sophie is learning to ride. Sophie is learning to get a horse to push from behind. Finn does not know how to push from behind. He's never been taught that. In that way, specifically, Finn is green. And then you add other elements in, like Finn is a fast horse, so it's harder for Sophie to learn to teach Finn to push from behind. And then there was something else that was, that is another factor. There are many, oh, he, and then you add in the fact that Finn is a super downhill horse and that means it's even harder. So we have this whole vicious cycle of Sophie trying to teach Finn something that he doesn't know how to do and then he's fast and he's downhill so it's even harder for Sophie to learn how to teach Finn. So that's what you guys are seeing. You're seeing Finn struggling, Sophie struggling because they're trying to learn against all the odds and this is normal in every growth and learning and riding and every person goes through it. What we're gonna do to try and combat this problem is that Sophie can do it on Storm because Storm already knows how to do it. So we're gonna swap Finn out. So he's gonna ride Chino sometimes because Chino does know how to do it. And the goal and the hope is that Chino or maybe Storm or maybe some other horse will teach Sophie in a way that Sophie can teach Finn. And that's our goal. That's our goal for this year. So he's gonna ride Chino in some lessons and it's gonna be hard. He's a really hard horse to ride because he's so big and so lazy, but he does have skills that he can teach her. And that's the benefit of being in a lesson program and being 
having a trainer and having more horses that she can access. So that's our goal. And if you're struggling watching Sophie ride Finn and learning Finn and Finn learning Sophie, I understand. You may have to look away. You may have to not watch specific things while she's riding because I get it. It's hard. It's hard to see a horse struggling. It's hard to see a kid struggling. It's hard to see anybody struggle. And you may just have to look away. But every rider out there has struggled with something and been not perfect at it for a measure of time until eventually they did learn it no matter no, however they figured out how to learn it but anyway that's what brandon explained to me i love him for it one thing you guys don't know about brandon he is incredibly patient and incredibly giving and incredibly i don't even know all the words to describe him but he helps so much he would give you the shirt off his back that's how amazing he is and i know uh, some of you guys have encountered brandon throughout your your lives some of you guys have encountered He's him offered throughout the us. gloves off of his hands he has offered gabby the gloves off of his hands to make her comfortable he's an amazing man and we love him and we're so grateful to have him and we Sometimes love fiona he gave too kaylee his vest to wear. he gave kaylee his vest to wear like he he's a wonderful man and we love fiona too Anyway, that's it. We're going home. Hope you guys understand that. And I'll repeat it in a few other videos so everybody understands it. So let's go. Let's go home. Don't you know that you're beautiful?